hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion uh, related to neural networks and so far we have discussed various uh, concepts related to learning uh, and we were discussing about the supervised learning models uh, we have discussed about various types of uh, models such as the perceptron model the adlin uh, and uh, various other network uh, neural network models learning models and also about the various learning uh, techniques so in this video we are going to discuss about another important uh, neural network model which is based on the concept which we just discussed previously the adlin which is multiple adaptive linear neurons okay so adaptive linear neurons we have discussed it is just another word multiple uh, is added here so it becomes multiple adaptive linear neurons okay madly short form so before uh, going deep into this we discussed about the adlin neuron in the previous video so basically Adlin neuron is one which has linear activation functions okay a neuron with linear activation function and it consists of an adaptive learning algorithm where the net input okay the net input to the output neuron is compared with a target value and the error the difference between the two based on the target value is compared with an adaptive algorithm and based on that the weights between the input and the output neurons are changed that is what adaptive linear neuron in short we can understand so please recommend you to watch the previous videos so that you understand uh, the next series of videos and this videos in a better way because each one is related to the other so this is the basic concept of adlin and based on that uh, the delta rule the weight adjustment happens in this way where it is directly related to the target value the net input and various other parameters are involved now the multiple adaptive linear neuron or madlin neural network it consists of multiple adaptive linear neurons in parallel connection and it has a single output neuron so this multiple adaptive linear neurons multiple adaptive linear neurons or adlins in parallel connection is the important characteristic feature of the madlin neural network so the basic architecture of uh, the madlin neural network model is that it consists of an input layer of neurons okay this is the input layer to which the input signals x1 to xn is applied if there are n input neurons there then it consists of an hidden layer which is the adlin or adaptive linear neurons which are which have all the characteristic features of the adaptive linear neuron okay so this hidden layer here okay this hidden layer is consisting of multiple adaptive linear neurons okay so this is where the madlin term comes into play okay multiple adaptive linear neurons in the hidden layer the normal neurons in the input layer adaptive linear neurons in the hidden layer and then the single output neuron to which all the the outputs of the adlin neurons or the adaptive linear neurons are fed that is the madlin neuron single neuron in the output which is called as the madlin neuron okay so you understood normal neurons in the input adlin neurons in the hidden layer single neuron in the output to which all the outputs of the adlin neurons are fed that is called as the madlin neuron so the whole structure combined together is called as madlin now how this whole thing works 
so you can see that the neurons from the input layer to the hidden layer or the adlen layer they are connected by weighted connections which are termed as w okay subscript 1 1 neuron which is connected from 1 to 1 then similarly i1 n1 1 likewise okay it follows 1 1 w1 1, 2 w1 1, 3 like that it goes on so the general term is wij connecting input neuron i to hidden adaptive linear neuron j so these are the weighted connections denoted by w the hidden layer neurons are connected to the output neurons by weights v marked as v v1 vj vm because there is only a single neuron in the output so v1 is connecting adaptive linear neuron z1 to y v2 z2 to y generally vj is zj to y and similarly vm connecting neuron adaptive linear neuron zm to y considering that there are m adaptive linear neurons now the characteristic feature is that all the weights connecting the hidden layer and the output layer they have fixed constant positive values the v's are all the same they are all the same v1 is equal to v2 is equal to vj is equal to vm for the whole m adaptive linear neurons connecting to the output the weighted connections the weight values are constant positive now it is these w values that are adjusted that are different that are variable and these are the only weights that are adjusted the w weights connecting the input neurons to the adaptive linear neurons so these are the two important characteristic features of the madeleine neural network model these are not touched these are not changed the v weights are not changed only the w weights connecting the input layer the input neurons to the adaptive linear neurons in the hidden layer they are changed Dub the v weights are not changed only the w weights are changed now the hidden layer neurons that is the adlen and the output neuron they have activation function like this bipolar the output can either be minus one or plus one now the net input to this adaptive linear neurons the hidden layer neurons it can be given by it can be mathematically represented as this the net input to the hidden layer the adaptive linear neuron j in the hidden layer is given by this okay so another important thing here is the bias values one constant values one they are also fed to the hidden layer neurons or the adaptive linear neurons and the output neurons but the biases are absent in the input layer okay so another important thing which i missed out the bias values constant values one they are given only to the hidden layer neurons or the adaptive linear neurons and the output neuron not to the input neuron so the net input to the hidden layer neurons adlin it is given by this bias plus the product of the input signal and the corresponding weight for i equals to 1 to n okay because there are n input neurons the net input to a single hidden layer adaptive linear neuron is given by this sum of the bias and sum of all the product of the input signals and the corresponding weight values connecting that uh, input neuron to the corresponding hidden layer adaptive neuron next the output of the adlen layer of each adlen unit it is corresponding to the activation function which is used there f z in j okay f z in j and again the output of the adlen layer it can be in terms of minus one or plus one depending on the net input now the net input to the output layer neuron or the madeleine neuron again that is equal 
to the bias value B0 and the product of the input signal and the weighted connections which can be given by this expression because there is only a single bias value only a single neuron at the output so one bias value plus j equals to 1 to m because there are m hidden layer neurons or m adaptive linear neurons from z1 to zm so it is given by this product of the signals from the hidden layer neurons and the corresponding weight values this this is the net input to the output neuron the madelin neuron and the output of the madelin neuron again corresponding to the bipolar activation function which is used it is given by this and the output can either be minus 1 or plus 1 now the important thing here is how the weights are changed the weights and the bias values are changed so this output y the final output y is compared with a target value because these are all supervised learning networks where the final output is compared with a target value or desired output so this final output y is compared with a target value the output of the final madelin neuron the output layer neuron is compared with a target value now as the output has two possibilities minus 1 or plus 1 the set point or the target value also has two possibilities it can either be plus 1 or minus 1 so depending on these the weight changes or the bias changes happen as follows when the target value is not equal to the output and the target value is equal to plus 1 again important thing to remember as the activation function for the adaptive linear neuron and the madelin neuron it is bipolar that is minus 1 or plus 1 the target values can either also be minus 1 and plus 1 so when the target value is different than the final output and the target value is plus 1 the bias and weight changes happen in this way okay so for a particular bias value in the hidden layer neuron or the adaptive linear neuron it is given by the bias value is equal to the old bias value plus alpha into 1 minus z in j the net input to that neuron and the weight connection is given by the old weight value plus alpha into 1 minus z in j where alpha is the learning rate and this is 1 minus z in j into xy where xi is the corresponding input now this all happens to a particular neuron j where the net input is closest to zero that is z in j is closest to zero so this this can be a little bit confusing for you to understand so try to understand each line separately first condition target value is not equal to y it means that if here target is plus one y can be minus one okay y is minus one now in that case the bias value will change as per this okay for a particular bias value here bj let's say here this it changes as the old bias value plus alpha into 1 minus z in j where alpha is a constant value which is called as the learning rate which we have discussed previously the learning rate constant then the weight value wij okay let's say this wij the general weighted connection connecting i and j that will change as the old weight value plus alpha into 1 minus z in j xi where z in j is the net input to that particular jth neuron the net input to that particular jth neuron okay like this now this all happens for the unit zj okay so the algorithm picks up a neuron in which the net input is closest to zero okay only in that neuron the change happens the second condition when the target value is equal to minus one and again target value is not equal to the final output it in this case the final output is equal to plus one only two possibilities plus one or minus one so in this case it is plus one so in that case the neuron uh, the algorithm picks up a neuron k 
where the net input is positive. Here it picks up a neuron where the net input is closest to zero but in this case it picks up a neuron where the net input is positive and the changes in the bias and weight values happens as bk new the new bias value is equal to bk old the old bias value is alpha into minus 1 minus z in k and here the new weight value is the old weight value plus alpha into minus 1 minus z in k xi so the change happens here it is plus 1 here it is minus 1 so don't get confused by j i j and k it is not you know it is not fixed that only in one particular neuron the change will happen the changes will happen only in that hidden layer neuron where the weights or the net input is closest to zero when this is the condition and when this is the condition it will happen in the neuron where the net input is positive so it can be any neuron in the hidden layer it can be any neuron in the hidden layer it all depends on the final output the target value and what is the net input condition okay so these are the uh, the stipulations related to that and important thing when the target value is equal to the final output in that case no weight updation is required our objective is accomplished we have achieved the desired target value output okay so this is the whole concept of multiple adaptive linear neuron network okay it is based on the adaptive linear network and the important characteristic feature is this hidden layer consisting of multiple adlins adaptive linear neurons so please uh, try to understand the weight of updation process because it can be a little bit tricky okay so it is all interrelated so pl please watch all the previous videos also where i have discussed basic concepts related to weight changes weight updation and the learning rules section okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much